Hey, John Mayfield, the real estate tech guy. Thanks for joining me for another YouTube video. We are in the Missouri specific material. Don't forget, depending on your state, we are doing streaming on some of our other states we are approved in. Just go over to our playlist and you can find out some other videos for state specific information. But today we're in the Missouri portion of the exam. We finished uh, with chapter four, our last uh, session. And so today we're gonna actually look at chapter five, which has to do with fees. Now, I don't think you're gonna see a lot of questions from fees here. Just wanna make sure that you understand a couple of points here. You need to know that all fees are paid by personal check, cashier's check or money order made payable to the Missouri Real Estate Commission. One item I would take note of is no cash, okay? Make sure you know that. They're not going to accept any cash. And so uh, today we can actually pay many of our fees online. When I renewed my license, I just went online and I paid by credit card. So you can do that today, but you need to understand that there are no, uh, no cash. And the second part of this that I want you to understand is that no, uh, get my highlighter here, no license fee or portion of the license fee will be refunded should any license be surrendered, suspended, or revoked during the term for which the license is issued. So I would definitely make sure that you understand that specific item. Now, moving on over, uh, we need to understand here, this could very well be an exam question for you, is that an application fee of $50 in addition to the original issuance fee shall be paid upon original application for a broker or salesperson. So remember, just as it, as it says here, there is an application fee of $50 and this is in addition to the original issuance fee. So uh, you're gonna have that $50. So let's, let's think about this. Here's the original issuance fee right now. For all brokers, that's $80. So that means when you apply for a broker's license, you have the original issu issuance fee of $80 plus the $50. And that is helped to defray the expense of processing and investigating your license. So they could ask you that question on the test and it would be good to know that. So right here you have $130. This is on the original issuance. So, and this is for brokers. I'm going to put BRK. So those two items. So there's several questions that could actually come right from here. You know, what, what is that $50 upon your original application? What's that cover? Well, it covers the cost to defray issuance of your license, processing, and investigating, right? So that could be a question. That $50 fee could be a question. That's paid to help defray those costs. And that is in addition to the original issuance fee, okay? How much do brokers pay to get their license? $80 plus the 50 for the original, you know, that application. So you could see questions in there. You got to read them very carefully because they could just word it to where they want you to answer the $50 fee or just the $80 fee or what's the total. You know, read those questions very carefully, but you can see here that it's $130 is what you're going to have to pay for the original issuance and the application fee. So if they ask you how much is the application fee for a broker, it's $50. 
how much is the original issuance fee to get your license uh, for a broker if they just ask what's the original issuance fee or what do brokers pay for an origination, the original issuance, it's 80. But I would probably answer 130 if that was a choice because you have to pay the 50 plus the 80. Read the questions carefully, okay? That's what makes the exam kind of challenging at times. Now, salespersons, it's $40 for the original issuance. But remember, you have 40 plus 50, and so that equals 90. So this is the application fee, and this is the original issuance fee. I'm going to put ORG, okay? Partnerships, as you can see here, corporations, professional corporations, $80, same as brokers here. Now, renewal fees, you could see some questions there. You can see any type of a broker, off, broker officer license, it's $50. Same way with partnerships, corporations, $50. And then salespersons or inactive salespersons, $40. Also, keep in mind, uh, this broker includes the inactive broker as well. So, um, brokers, companies, $50. Salespersons, $40. Could, could be a couple of exam questions. I have noticed them, they love to give you this question here about delinquent fees. I'm going to delete that just because I want to make sure you understand that. A delinquent fee is $50 per month or partial month elapsed since due date of expiration not to exceed a maximum delinquent fee of $200. I have seen that question on the exam. I shouldn't say I've seen it, I've heard about it. And they love to give you a story or a scenario and so you're going to have to just read what happened to Mary or Tom or Bobby or whoever they use and read through and find out, well, if they were a broker, they were supposed to renew their license on June 30th of even years. And so if they waited until October to renew their license, well, we have July, August, September, October, right? And so what would be the delinquent fee? It's $50 per month or partial month, not to exceed 200. So I have 50, 100, 150, $200 delinquent fee. Now, they will also need to take the 24-hour Missouri practice course as part of that delinquency with their license. We talked about that on the previous episode, so you can go read some of that. But I just want you to understand that has been seen, so lots of questions could come from here. Uh, a transfer or a status change, $50.00. Could You could see that. I don't think, think you're going to see any of these items here, but certificate of licensure is $10 and, uh, you know, name approval fee $10. If you need to get a replaced license, $25 if your broker lost those. So jumping on over here, um, duplicate PIN card. Again, I don't think you'll see these questions bad check, $25, um, payment of any copying fees and search fees are pursuant to uh, a various rule there or a law. And I don't think you will see anything down here regarding schools and applications of schools. So I wouldn't worry about that too much. Uh, so again, schools, don't worry about that. And that's for courses. So what we covered over here very well could see several questions from those. I would make sure that you know that information and you should be good to go. So that's chapter five. We'll pick up in, on chapter six in our next live stream. But for today, thank you so much for watching. I'm John Mayfield. Be sure and check us out at globalrealestateschool.com. We've got some great study material there. And hey, if you want to get your real estate license in other states such as Hawaii, that, that sounds great, doesn't it? Utah, 
Florida, Virginia, well, we are approved in those states. Would love to have you as a student. Indiana, Oklahoma, we work with a couple of schools in Kansas and South Dakota, so you can go through their schools and take our online material. But love to have you as a student at Global Real Estate School. And we do have the ultimate real estate exam coach, uh, prep with questions, digital flashcards, and so much more. And it works in all 50 states. It's national content, so check that out as well. But for today, you know a little bit more about Chapter 5 in the rules and regulations of the Missouri real estate license law portion of your exam. Hey, as always, thanks for watching. Go out and make it a great day.